Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. My fellow Americans, a moment we have all been waiting for. The battle is perennial, and victory is never assured. Through civil war, the Great Depression, World War, 9-11, through struggle, sacrifice, and setbacks, our better angels have always prevailed. In each of these moments, enough of us, enough of us have come together to carry all of us forward. I understand they worry about their jobs. I understand, like my dad, they lay in bed staring at, the, at night, staring at the ceiling, wondering, can I keep my health care? Can I pay my mortgage? Thinking about their families, about what comes next, distrusting those who don't look like, look like you, sources you do. We must end this uncivil war that pits red against blue. Rural versus urban, or, or rural versus urban, conservative versus liberal. We need all our strength to preserve, to persevere through this dark winter. We're entering what may be the toughest and deadliest period of the virus. We must set aside politics and finally face this pandemic as one nation. One nation. And I promise you this. As the Bible says, weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. We will get through this together, together. And my first act as president, I'd like to ask you to join me in a moment of silent prayer. Remember all of those who we lost in this past year to the pandemic, those 400,000 fellow Americans, moms, dads, husbands, wives, sons, daughters, friends, neighbors, and co-workers. We'll honor them for becoming the people and the nation we know we can and should be. So I ask you, let's say a silent prayer for those who've lost their lives and those left behind and for our country. Amen. Folks, this is a time of testing. 